If you have ever considered building your own aircraft and you're not quite sure where to start, the rudder is the simplest component you can build. And several companies offer rudder workshops. All right, so obviously I'm not working on my project today. I traveled two and a half hours from home to hang out with some aviation family. There's a rudder workshop going on this weekend at Herman's Place, uh, Wheels and Wings in Lake City, Florida, Cannon Creek Air Park. So I decided to come out here and spend a little time. So let me uh, introduce you to some future aircraft owners and uh, new builders. All right, so what do we got going on over here? Uh, building the uh, CH750 Super Duty rudder. Um, came in from St. Petersburg this morning. And uh, yeah, started about started about 8.30. And um, nine, I guess 9.30. And yeah, almost have it together. And here you have Taking it. Taking it apart and a try, the plans to uh, put it on floats. So trying to get it pretty well um, Corrosion protected so that the salt water around here doesn't doesn't a, wreck it too much. A, a super duty on floats. That's gonna be nice. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. what, what's your name? Sean. All right, Sean. Thanks for the update. Thank you. When, what's the next stage of the build for you? For me, um, I'll, I still have to order. So uh, seems to have gone well today. So I'll probably order probably in sections. What's something or the fuselage yeah, or wings no, next? Maybe the tail. And what do we have at this table? Yeah, so I'm uh, Roger Sturdivant from uh, Falmouth, Massachusetts, and I'm building the uh, Zenith Cruiser rudder. Okay. And uh, Sebastian was nice enough to bring down my uh, total tail kit, so I'll continue okay. with that too. Massachusetts, you want to come down here and enjoy some Florida sunshine, huh? Yeah, well, in the winter we go down to the villages, so we uh, decided to love for this workshop. So it's been a great time. All right, so after Thanks, your rudder, what do you plan to, to move through the uh, the build process? Well, like I say the tail kit is on the truck, so yeah. I'll bring that back and I'll finish that up, and then I have to figure out what what wings, what part I build up in Massachusetts, and what parts I build down here, and then someday put it all back together again. So, but uh, you know, I figure there's lots of trailers, lots of ways to do that. So someday, figure it out. Yeah, someday. 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 I, I hear the day is Thursday. You just everybody yeah, right. yeah, Thursday. Yeah, so we know which Thursday it is. That's right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, same table, four feet over. What's, what's being built here? All right, this is another cruiser rudder. My name's Steve, and I'm actually from Lake City, Florida. So I've driven by here a dozen times. Another local. Another local. Awesome. I haven't been flying since 2003, so I'm looking to get back into it. Is this your first build or sub-assembly? Yeah, this is the very first piece. Awesome. OK, what are you going to order next to your uh, kit pro progression? Whatever they can get to me the fastest. Probably the tail kit. The rest yeah, of the tail kit. The tail. Yeah, they can do the tail kit. Hi, I'm Dave Friedel. I'm uh, from Fairhope, Alabama, and I'm working on a CH650B rudder assembly right now. Uh, this is the first time, time you've ever built anything? It is. Yes. First time for uh, for any of this. <laughs> All right. And as I'm asking everybody, what Will you go through the sub-assemblies or order the whole kit after the rudder or what? Uh, not sure yet. Gonna gonna kind of wait and see, but uh, hoping to get something ordered by next year, early next year. Okay. Are you uh, involved in any, any chapters in your local areas? Or? Yes. Actually, yeah. I'm in the EAA chapter in Magnolia Springs, Alabama. Okay, so shout out to Magnolia. Yes. <laughs> Herman at Wheels and Wings is a dealer and repair center for the UL Power brand of aircraft engines but he also has done installations for Rotax and other engines for light sport. He now hosts a rudder workshop for Zenith Builders at his Builder Assist Center located in sunny Lake City, Florida. Give Herman a call to discuss the possibilities of working with him on your project. You're live. All right, so for day two of the 31 day build challenge, see guys, this is why I never get anything done on my own project. I'm always traveling and checking out other people's projects, but I'm at Herman's place. Where are we at? In Lake City, Florida, at Cannon Creek Airport, 15 FL. And you're doing, uh, we, we do another workshop, days. yes. Yeah. We have a two day another workshop. We started with a workshop today, and tomorrow we're finishing up, and then tomorrow we have an informal Zena fly in and cook out. Um, everybody's welcome to join, of course. Uh, we start at 12 with, uh, at noon with, with serving uh, burgers and, uh, and hot dogs. Um, yeah, you can come out to uh, take a look at the project that's going on, take a look at people who are possibly finishing up some others, and have a good time and hang out with uh, Sebastian is here from Zenith Aircraft, Brian is here, and then we have a lot of Zenith builders and, and 
enthusiasta, so I want to be build this. So this is only about two and a half hours from my house, my hangar. I figured since it's going on that I would uh, come up here and capture this video. So I'll say hello to uh, everybody here on another video. I just wanted to pop in and say, hey, this is what I'm doing on day two of the challenge. You got about ten, ten, ten rudders. rudders. Yes, ten rudders. So, you should have brought your project. Could have worked on I should have. Little. I should have yeah. brought some little little piece to work on yeah. or something like that. But yeah, ten Maybe rudders next. going into uh, ten different aircraft. Everything from the Super Duty. Uh, 650 Super Duty. We have the new 701 uh, rudder here, the quick build. Uh, okay. what, what are we? Are we uh, building the same yeah. thing? Yeah, Ray, you are. And I'm building a 650 rudder as well. Okay. And. Uh, where did you come in from? I actually come from Matadora, Florida, but I'll be building in Dahlonega, Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I actually do some build assist for Sling aircraft. For Sling? Yeah, and I came here just to learn how their documentation works and how, uh, you know, how they set up their system to them building the 650. Can I go through the build? Yeah. Oh, awesome. We having fun? Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Mike Baggett. I'm from uh, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Today we're building a uh, 750 cruiser rotor. Um, new to the industry. Uh, this is all new to me and I'm very excited and so glad to be here. First time builder. Yes, sir. Well, happy to have you. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're not shy? I'm James. This is my son, Charlie. We're from uh, South Florida. Broward County, and we are building the rudder for a 750 CH Super Duty. A Super Duty, the big boy. Yeah. Are you having fun? Yes. Are you Are you pulling rivets? Yeah. You playing with Clecos? Yeah, and also a really cool rivet gun. <laughs> What's the funnest part about building this so far, other than working with Dad? Well, it was this rivet gun because when if you do like this. Right after you get the stem, yeah, it goes and just it ejects it out the back. How about that? Yeah, pretty um, cool, huh? Pretty cool. Well, what do you got to progress from the rudder? On to, what, what's next? Um, next is uh, we're gonna go back home and uh, wait until uh, we pick up our kit in uh, January. Okay. Well, welcome to the club of building. Thank you. Um, I'm from uh, Holiday, Florida. I'm building a 750. 750 yeah. cruiser or the stall? The store. So awesome. Is this your first time building? Uh, yes, my first time. Well, yeah, it's my first time here. Now, <laughs> here. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, I appreciate We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net, The Aviators Clinic at AviatorsClinic.com. Diamond Doors at DiamondDoors.com Flying Eyes at FlyingEyesOptics.com Foxtrot 95 Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. So obviously this is Herman's place and he's hosting, but this guy happens to be here, so I guess we'll talk to him too. Sure, yeah. <laughs> now on a serious note though, uh, there's what, 10? Rudders going on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're in Florida. Do you plan on doing maybe more of these around the country like this? Or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We, I, we, I love doing this. You know, we've been doing our, our monthly uh, workshops at the, at the factory. You know, once a month, and we continue to do that because we love doing that. So that's twelve but, a uh, year at the factory. Yeah, yeah. And maybe you'll do another. And then we we do you know three or four uh, out out of the factory in Florida, yeah. obviously. You know, because you know the weather in the winter is nice, uh, and then the sheer number of pilots down here in Florida. Florida is always a great uh, aviation community, so we like to come out and do that. And I'll swing around here you got this uh, mobile unit that oh, you're, man, you're driving yeah. now uh -huh. delivering Christmas presents yeah, before it, Christmas yeah. well and, and that really works out well you know I can put five complete kits in there or one or two complete ones a lot of component kits bring them to customers along that way uh, it's, it's easy to do and it's really a good convenience for customers as well right now shipping's expensive walk with me for a second so here at uh, Herman's place uh -huh. he also has Several projects going on. Um, I think we've got two 
cruisers and a stole. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you seeing, I was curious of like as far as kits versus quick builds, are you getting a lot of calls for quick builds? Are people wanting to do the, the whole kits or still Yeah, like, I mean, it's, it's a good mix. Um, you know, usually the, the folks that, that require a quick build kit, is that those kits usually don't get built any quicker than normal kits because they're customers that just don't have the time sure. to, to build. And, sure. and so I, it's good, I think, that they recognize the fact that they don't have the time. And then uh, those, those same folks will often use, uh, you know, professional build assist facilities like, like Wheels and Wings that Herman runs because, they, again, they just don't have the space or the time to, to, to get it done. So they, they use available resources that way. So it's, uh, you know, that's why we make quick build kits available uh, for those people. But uh, I think by and large for most people, and that's why we, we, we like to host these workshops is, you know, most people really enjoy the building part. Right, right. It just, well, you know what it's like. Yeah, it's I mean, easy. You just it, have to put the time it's in. It's easy, it's fun, and you just got to put the time in. You just in have to quit and, checking uh, out other people's builds and work on your own build. <laughs> you got it. That's exactly the key word right there. All right, everybody look out. Here, Here we go. Okay, I want I want one with me in there too. This isn't a, this isn't a picture. This is video. We, I, I do video, not pictures. What are you talking about? So the Zenith van. So yeah, this is our, our cargo van, and uh, so we, we you know we use a cargo van to go to our shows, you know, regardless of our display materials. But uh, importantly, we also use it now. We're delivering kits to customers. Uh, you know, over the last, especially during COVID and so forth, shipping is becoming more and more of a problem. It's getting expensive. The wood prices for crating has gone up and so forth. So rather than crating, we can pack the parts in the van and we can put up to four airplane kits inside the van like this. And uh, we put all, lay all the parts and so forth and deliver it direct to the customer. And this, it's worked out great. Does shelving have wheels? It's actually a slide yeah, out it drawer? Yeah, it's not, not wheels, it's a Teflon box. Okay. And we just slide, can slide it out. It helps to pack it on our side and then uh, to deliver it uh, from the customer standpoint. Awesome. And so it makes it, it may actually makes it fun for us to deliver. We stop along the way delivering kits to customers and I just love, you know, visiting a customer and, 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 you know, delivering the kit to them because boy, do they love that as well. So it's just a, it's just a fun experience. And if they were my day to day job, I'd probably be tired. I'm not a truck driver, but it, since we do this occasionally, it's just a lot of fun to do. Well, this one. That is awesome. When they're loaded, they get pretty heavy, but yeah. uh, and uh, so we kind of and here we just put the spring on top there because we had things inside there already. But uh, yeah, this this morning we had we had a full kit laying right here, and we we delivered it already for the customer this morning. He was from Orlando, and he picked up a local U-Haul. There is always something happening in aviation, and it's a great family to be a part of. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode.